and um, I'll put them up on our, we'll have a, a class website. So my, my goal is to um, upload those to there. So if, if you came in a few minutes late or you happen to have to leave a few minutes early for whatever reason that day, um, we will have um, a, a video you can watch for that. Um, so that, that'll be coming up and I'll, I'll give you guys the link to all of that today also. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> all right, so everybody's good with the computer. We got one install issue. What about getting the, the Creative Cloud? Does everybody have that? Or I should say anybody not have it? That's probably, hopefully that's a better question. I don't have it yet. You don't have it, but you can get it. Yeah. You get the uh, link. Is it the... What was it, Alicia? Did you get the link that I sent? I think mm. it was an announcement last night. Yeah, there's a couple. I clicked the link and there's a couple. Is it the $52 one? <sighs> Hold on. Let me see if I can open up my... It shouldn't be 52 for a... It should be $15.99 a month. Let me just look here, double check. Yeah, $15.99 a month um, for the first year. And then it goes up to $29.99 a month after that. Trust me, the Adobe's making money now, now that we can't steal it anymore. Damn them. Um, so yes. So fifteen ninety nine a month. So that'll get you through obviously this semester and next. Um, I know it's always a pain. I look, even I am griping about buying it, but you have to. Um, and, and, and I'm going to give you some ways that you can make that money back. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to make some money off of doing some design work. So um, fifteen ninety nine should be <clears throat> the one. I'm going to copy that there's a link that should take you to 59. Okay, so let me just take her. Uh, we don't have it, but you're gonna, don't have it, but you're gonna try to get it. One that's for student. Yes, this is, should be the student link. Um, waiting to download. Yeah, I had that problem last semester. There were like issues with some link. I don't know what they're doing. But um, <clears throat> today we're gonna go over some very, very basic stuff. Um, I'm hoping by Wednesday, you guys have it. We'll get into a little bit more. Um, but again, remember, I'm gonna re be recording so we're, you can catch up. And um, again, if you have questions or problems, um, we've got time. Um, question came up with an email, like how is the class gonna be? Typically, um, <clears throat> the first hour or so, I'm gonna be talking, lecturing, demoing, um, going over projects, assignments, and et cetera. And then after that, we're basically, it's called lab time where it's time for you to work. So um, <clears throat> I'll be around. If we have questions, you can let me know. Um, <clears throat> but we'll have time that you can work, um, work on the project. There's really no reason you can't get all the projects done during the class time. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, you know, know that, you know, just being here during these, these hours that we have should allow you to finish up uh, most of the projects. Um, there might be a little bit of homework type. There is, but it's not nothing that's terribly hard. I mean, it's, it's not calculus here. You know, it shouldn't take you that long to do. Um, so, but you will have ample time in class between now and four o'clock kind of hour to work on projects and stuff. All right. Um, give me one second. I'm going to do a quick, quick attendance just by looking at what we have. And what are we today? The 23rd. Um, and I will have a, a little homework assignment. I basically have to ask you guys to email me. Um, so I know you're really there. Apparently people have been scamming. Aren't those people? Mean people suck. Um, <clears throat> scamming the for tuition and financial aid and stuff. I don't know how these people think of this stuff, but anyway, so they've been basically trying to steal money from the school through fake financial aid. 
I don't I, if you're gonna steal, don't steal from the government, all right? Because the government will find you eventually. But um, so I have to confirm that you really are who you are, and those that are in the class really are in the class. So I'm doing attendance here, but we will have a very, very brief assignment to have you confirm to my email, and I will put that in. Uh, apparently, there's a scam going around saying the college is sending emails out to have you confirm. Apparently, that's not so. Um, so if your teacher, such as I, asks you to send an email, we'll give you an email address that you can send to. Um, but if you're getting something else from school, sounds like there's some other scam. They're, the scammers are scamming the scam, if that makes sense. They're trying to find a work way around. Um, who knows? All right. Um, Give me one second. Questions while we're going here? I'm just real quick getting the messages going. And one second, we got a couple of messages. What the Adobe Crowd? Which one? Um, it should be the full creative suite. Um, the question was, which one do I download? Um, it should be the whole creative cloud, which gives you Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, um, uh, video work. Um, it, it's pretty much the entire world. It will be everything that Adobe has, um, which is it's really, really nice that you can try other projects and try other things, um, such as video editing, um, some web design tools that are in there. Um, so that's the Creative Cloud is basically the whole kit and caboodle on the Adobe suite. I'm almost done here, so give me one more second. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let me just double check. I was told also there were problems of people logging in. So just check and see if there are any messages on that case over here. I apologize for all this nonsense first class, but look, you didn't have to drive to school today. So that was a good thing. I don't know if I want to go back, tell you the truth. Not, not that I'm worried about the COVID at this point, but dude, it's kind of nice being home and we're done, we're done. And we just kind of keep going. All right. Um, okay. So I think if anybody, if you come in, anybody comes in, let me know. Yes, it definitely saves on gas money. My God. Right, and time, right? I mean, it's not that it takes us that long. I don't know, it takes me, I'm in your Belinda, so half hour-ish to get over there. Um, about a half hour here, half hour back. That's an hour. I'm doing that a couple times a week. That adds up, plus the gas. Uh, and then, you know, if you go, you're like gonna have to stop and get a coffee or something like that. So it's gonna cost you money. Oh my gosh. All right, um, so let's get going on introduction. So uh, let me get, get my other window open here. Share my screen. All right, share.
Okay, you should see my screen now. I'm going to, to a little, I'm not gonna see all you guys. So if you have a problem, shout out with, uh, give me a shout out. I'm gonna put the chat back up. Try to do this, it gets a little cluttered sometimes. So um, feel, free, feel free to ring in. Um, it's not that many of us that we can't just give a quick shout out. All right, um, so we will have a, a dedicated website for the class. Um, I have two emails. This is my personal one, which we will use to submit some projects and stuff because the school one gets a little weird. This is the school one. Um, I don't check the school one every day all the time. The other one I do many, many times a day. So um, if it's something quick and important, give me that at the Daniel at a new designs. Um, if it's just a, you know, hey, type of thing, um, you can use the full call EDU site and um, I will be getting those. Okay. Um, our website is, um, it's down so you can see it. Is uh, danielmgross.com forward slash dart one. Dart one will be the class website for the semester. Um, and what I'll be doing is I'll be putting in videos here to supplement. Um, I'll be putting in the class, the videos that we use um, for class, the ones that we're recording right now. And I also have things like uh, photos. So I'll have a photo in here you can download. So when we're going through a demo, you'll have the same photo to work with and you can practice and do stuff with that. Okay, so um, all those things will be on the website here. Okay, um, along with assignments and stuff like that, I usually post those up here in addition to the um, the Canvas site. All right, so um, bookmark this, save that link. Um, we'll be using it throughout the semester. Um, and then we do have our syllabi on here. And let me get that zoomed out so we can see a little bit more. Um, email, website there. Um, again, we're starting at 120 and we'll be out definitely before four or five. So don't worry about that. Um, the goal of this class is to kind of give you an introduction into um, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. Um, like I said, we'll also be doing Acrobat. Um, and I'll go through a little bit later here. When I get through this, how many people already have experience? So we'll talk about that. Also, um, you need to be here. We're online. Just show up. Um, we'll take care of business and we'll get you on your way. So um, don't like that. If you have problems or you have issues, um, you're sick, your family's sick, um, you've got a work business thing that's going to take you out of town, et cetera. Just let me know. I'm going to have a few. Okay. Um, so I'll let you guys know on those also. Um, just, just let me know. It's, it's not a problem. I'm not going to gig you. I just need to know. So just a quick email. Hey, I'm going to be, I got to go to, I don't know, Philadelphia for work. Okay. Um, cool. Or, you know, my, my mom is sick and I'm taking care of her. I need to take her to the doctor or whatever happens. To me. Just tell me family emergency. Let me know. I don't need all the minute details, but just let me know. And I can, you know, give you excuse. Um, absence is not a problem. Um, we have time to get all this work done. It's not going to be um, hellacious to work. It's, it's just meant to get you into the programs, um, get you familiar with how they work and how they're utilized. And when you use what program over the other program um, during the semester. Okay, and this will be the first class that leads you into many, many other, hopefully art and design classes as you, as you go. Um, da -da -da, a couple projects, we'll get those out to you. Uh, right now it's basically five projects. The point thing's gonna change a little bit because, but it's gonna be pretty close to the same. Rough week outline, um, Mondays we might have, I know we have Labor Day coming up and a couple other things. So um, 
I'll let you know. Okay. So even though the Zoom says we're having a class like on Labor Day, I know we're not. So if you plan to go away for Labor Day, go away for Labor Day. Okay. It is a holiday. Um, and we'll work things out. I mean, that's, that's what we're here for. That's why we're on Zoom for one. Um, hopefully everybody's doing okay, right? Everybody okay? Yeah. Everybody surviving the pandemic? It's been a year now. So far. Yeah. So far, right? Right? <laughs> Seems to be getting a little better out there, but a little better and a little worse. I don't know. Get your shot. I'm ready. I'm almost time for my third. Like I was in that first group. I work as a, um, a volunteer or part-time fire captain. So I've, I've had my shot for since January. It's been good now to get the stuff, but get a third one. It's okay. Um, so that's the syllabi. You can download that again. That has the, the website here. And then also the email. Um, I didn't put the other one in there, but the other one is here on the website. So let me just go through that. Let me just a little bit who I am. Um, so this is me, my work, et cetera. Um, been designing for way too long at this point, um, but it's cool, it's fun. Um, been teaching for almost as long as just some examples of my work. Um, just kind of go through just a couple of things. So um, branding, packaging, uh, digital development, that type of thing. So the company, it was a startup company, um, poster kind of fundraising event for cystic, fib cystic fibrosis um, kind of project. Um, the branding kind of idea. Again, all this is being used, used in our, our programs, uh, packaging for some, some water. Um, uh, corporate work kind of for a, a lubricant, um, oil petroleum products, car, basically car products with that. Um, some additional package work that I've done, DVDs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, poster designs for Sea America program. We'll talk, we'll talk about that later. Um, my, my main thing right now is I have a company called National Park Geek that I created and um, I basically design products that sell throughout the country at national parks. Um, so I'm selling it it's about 150 park sites at this point. Um, everything from you know, these pins and hiking medallions to patches, um, do t-shirts, stuff online, um, a ton of stickers some hats and all that kind of stuff. So um, quite a bit of, of, of products. Initially it was a few and now we're up to about, oh God, if you added in t-shirts and stuff, we're probably up to a hundred or more products that I'm doing. So um, I'm always designing new things and new products with this um, <clears throat> online. I have um, a website that do I have one here? so an e-commerce site that has products that are available um, on here and then um, I also have a um, Instagram which I do so if you like pretty pictures of parks um, this is our my Instagram, um, 700,000 followers at this point. So we're, we're going to go over stuff like Instagram, how to do it. Um, so uh, going through, sharing pictures of the national parks predominantly. Um, so a little bit of, of trying to do a 
uh, a little bit of, I call it micro inspiration. You know, the idea of like, wow, that's awesome, cool, that's the Grand Canyon. I want to go there, you know, and that's my goal is to kind of take you away for just a couple seconds and hopefully inspire you to, you know, go to someplace like this if you haven't been, um, but also inspire you to, to protect and, and, and want to, to, to root for the park. So, you know, if, if things come up legislatively, you might, you know, tell your Congress people that, hey, support the parks, um, those kind of things. But I think more importantly, I want you guys to go and experience these places. Um, you know, they belong to all of us. Um, you know, and the Grand Canyon is, you know, six hours drive. It's not that far. It's doable. Um, you know, go spend a night somewhere and come back. Um, you know, in many of these places, we're lucky on the east, the west coast, rather, to be near a lot of these big parks um, where you can see these things. You know, you, uh, Yosemite up the street, um, Sequoia, Zion. Um, you know, these places are all within um, a day's drive, Joshua Tree, a couple hours, okay? Um, so, you know, definitely encouraging people to go and um, experience the parks, but also the history that we find in our parks and the stories that were told through our parks. So that's my, my main business at this point is, is, is running the National Park Geek site. Um, so that's there. And again, well, I'll go through questions you have about that and stuff. Um, but I'm a, I'm a designer, I've been designing uh, for, like I said, decades. Um, I have a YouTube that ABC Channel 7 did, so let me pull that for you guys. And we'd like to give shout-outs to our most dedicated eyewitnesses, Daniel Gross, moved to SoCal in 1999 from Maryland, and he currently lives in Yorba Linda with his wife and young daughter. He is a graphic designer, art instructor, and part-time fire captain with the La Habra Heights Fire Department. He considers himself a semi-professional photographer, and he loves shooting landscapes, yeah, especially in our national parks. Daniel says the open space inspires him and keeps him grounded to nature, so so much so that he started the National Park Geek community at National Park Geek. He says it's been an honor to share our beautiful public lands and inspire others to visit and preserve them. We'd like to thank Daniel for tagging his post with hashtag ABC7 Eyewitness. Oh. <laughs> oh that's my, my Channel 7 moment. They're nice people. Um, again, it's all social media, guys. It's just kind of doing this. Um, and you can do it and again i think it's important because you guys are starting out um i'm assuming but it, it, at any point you are in your quote career your life um publicity marketing all that kind of stuff is going to be important so we'll, we'll go through those ideas during the semester um to get you up to speed on that um because it, it's important and it, and it will be um instrumental to kind of uh, fueling the growth again whether you're simply going to just um i don't i don't know let, let's just say you, you're gonna uh, it's a way to share ideas and share information and communicate your work so we'll go through again how to do that with something like instagram um facebook if you're into the facebook i know i kind of wean in and out of facebook um, I do Twitter just because I think Twitter is fun, um, but that's just me. It's not a big part of my marketing. Um, Instagram is definitely that. You know, when you can you can reach the numbers of people with the with a matter of a couple strokes of the of the keyboard, um, it's kind of amazing. <laughs> so, and, and it's totally unpredictable sometimes. I mean, like I said, I've been posting forever, 11,000 posts at this point. Um, but like this, I posted the other day and this one's up to 38,000 and even that blows me away. Like I said, it's, it's like, it's a good picture and it was good, but I didn't think it was that good. That makes sense. There are pictures I think are much better from a photographic standpoint, but you just never know sometimes with the audience. Um, but the point is to, to share and, and to do it. And, uh, and that's what we're gonna talk about too is just getting stuff done. Um, it's so important to get up and go. Um, many times we just kind of hold ourselves back. So we're gonna 
try to get over those kind of things also. So, looking hot. Give me one second. I'm gonna throw the fan on. Hold on. All right. Let me, I'm going to break, undo the share just so I can maybe see you guys a little bit more. Stop the share. Okay. Um, I can see my notes. So, um, who's used Photoshop, Illustrator, or InDesign before? I've used Photoshop before. I did a bit of Illustrator when I was in high school. I haven't okay. done the third one. Okay, InDesign is a desktop publishing, uh, putting books together in the magazines and those kind of things. Um, so we'll get to that. Was your Photoshop um, for class or did you have it like in high school? How did you? Or you um, just it was it? both in high school and last semester I took a photography class that utilized Photoshop. Perfect, perfect. Love photographs. Um, so I'm back in high school, cool. Um, anybody else? I, again, I'm just trying to judge where you guys are. Anybody consider themselves a pro that have been using it for 20 years or more? I use a little bit of Photoshop. Usually it's just like for memes between friends. Like that's probably the prime way that I've used it. Okay, cool. Anybody else? Um, a little but forgot. Okay, we'll, we'll get you refreshed. No worry. Um, we're gonna, I think, start with Photoshop. Um, uh, it's probably my favorite. I love photographs. I love taking photos. Um, we'll actually even talk about phot photography some. Um, I think it's important that we all can do at least basic photography, no matter what we're trying to get into. Um, so we'll do that <clears throat> briefly. Used it for work. Okay. Um, anybody else doing it for work? Just a little bit for work there. Anybody else here work-wise? We got the same people. All right, I'm just verifying. There's nobody in the email, so I'm sorry, but first class is always a team. All right. Um, all right. Um, all right. So we're gonna do Photoshop. I think first. Um, yeah, we'll do Photoshop first. Um, I love photography. Um, I, I always have a, a camera, even if it's my, my iPhone. Uh, but you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised what you can do with the iPhone. Um, and we'll go through that too. Some of the programs and some of the ways that I work with uh, photographs on the iPhone. Because um, I, I think it's important. Again, we're, we're, you're here because you, you want to be or want to work with visual communications, I assume. Um, but, you know, even even if you decide tomorrow, hey, I'm going to go into economics, uh, which is awesome. Um, you'll probably make more money. But, um, you know, you're still going to take good pictures. Right? There's no reason you can't have nice select pictures from your vacation um, or your, your outing, your adventures and have a cool Instagram um, and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, I think photography is is pretty important. So we'll talk about that and just kind of the ways to do that. And we'll go through that with um, some of the elements in, in Photoshop and such. Um, School-wise, um, are you guys planning, who's planning, to, you wanna stay in the, the visual arts, graphics, animation, those kind of things, fine arts, um, or you're just taking this because you want to learn Photoshop. A little, just a little feedback, just I'm trying to get the class up for you guys. Uh, I'm 
planning to go into uh, game development and I figured getting a good sense of like making digital art could be helpful for that. Mm -hmm. It will definitely, definitely. You're going to need these programs along with a few others when you get into gaming. Um, illustration, yes. I mean, obviously everything is going digital. Um, so even if you are, quote, a fine artist and can draw incredibly beautiful pictures, um, I'm envious. I, I've never been, I do okay, but I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself a fine artist in that sense. Um, but um, we all have to go digital. So even if you're, you know, painting in oils, you're going to have to take that painting and digitize it, take a photograph and do what you got to do to make color adjustments so you can do it for marketing. Um, your work and so forth. So yes, you're gonna need it all. Um, interested in marketing, cool. Animation, I uh, just want to learn to be a better person. Yeah, of course, right? It's gonna, it's gonna make, you will use this stuff, guys. Um, and I'll tell you even things like um, InDesign, which is a, like I said, a desktop publishing, it's, it's, it's books, magazines, it's, it's resumes, it's whatever. Um, I use it all the time. I don't even use Microsoft Word anymore. I hate Microsoft Word because um, it doesn't give me the flexibility flexibility that I like, um, whereas InDesign does. So um, you know, I you know, I think you're going to find like even if you get into something else, some of these programs will be incredibly helpful to you, and they're definitely helpful for um, you know presentations. Um, you know, everything is about a presentation today. So uh, whether you're making up a, a slide deck. Um, for, you know, how to sell widgets, okay, or, um, you know, the next great TV show or uh, video game or whatever, um, you know, using these programs is going to be, uh, I think, important and helpful. Um, and again, we're just touching them, okay, so there'll be additional classes down the line on these. Um, there's always additional resources available online um, of that, like, um, so it's good. And, and the cool thing about it is that they're, um, relatively cheap, but you get a lot of power for it. You can, you can do a, a bazillion things. Um, and literally you can make a living using these programs. So, so think of them as tools. Um, it's a paintbrush. It's a, a, a kit of, of oil paints. Um, it's pencils, it's paper, all that into your computer and, um, with those things, you'll be able to do a lot. So um, hopefully you'll you'll gain a, a, a fair amount of information this semester. Um, as we're going, of course, um, let me know if you don't get it or I went too fast or can I go back over something. Um, that's what we're here for. It's a little hard for me to kind of judge sometimes because I'm looking at you guys and you see what I'm looking at, right? Little black boxes with a name on it. Um, yeah, I'd have my uh, camera on, but sadly I'm using a monitor that doesn't have No, one. no, but what I'm just saying, it's I, I see little black boxes. So I can't tell whether you're getting it or not. Like if we're in classroom, I go, I can look at you and go, you got it, or I can see you're lost. I can't see you're lost here. So you got to tell me if you're lost um, or, or you're just not getting it or whatever. Okay, so, um, you know, I'm counting on you guys to speak up chat up whatever it happens to be so perfect thumbs up as works just so i get an idea um okay because I'm, I'm gonna move and if you guys don't say slow down or go over that again i'm gonna assume you saw it and understood it um and sometimes it's 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 always a problem for us teachers as we get this stuff that's why we're teaching it um so you know what seems to be simple or easy for us may not be as simple or easy or make sense to you guys. Um, just because we're used to doing it doesn't mean you guys are. Sometimes we forget how to drive. Yeah, well, we've been driving so long, we forget how to teach somebody how to drive. So that's what we're gonna try to do. So again, shout out, let me know if we go too fast or too far. Um, Give me one second here. I'm going to get just a quick, oops. Um, okay. Let me get another window open here. And we will.
come this is, I can't minimize this. Hold on a sec. All right, I'm looking for a folder. Hold on. I have too many folders. There it is. All right, I'm going to share. I'm going to just kind of go through some basics of design. Um, and then we'll go through any questions you guys might have. So um, I, I'm a graphic designer, so I'll say design, I'll say graphics. Um, that's what we're going to kind of be doing with the programs. Um, I'm not an animator. Um, I get it. I get animation. I understand it for the most part. I have friends who have worked on films and such, but um, that's not me. I'm more of the other kind of stuff. So that we did that. Um, so, but design is, is important for no matter what area you end up getting into. Um, Cause really it's just a way of, of a plan to solve a problem. Um, that's really what design, design is. Design is to, is, is to solve problems. Um, and thank God we have design. We have simple problems from, you know, a, um, you know, how to make a better can opener to designing the computers and the interface and um, the user experience and websites and um, all that kind of good stuff. I mean, that's, that's all things that were done by design um, from, a, a, from like something uh, utilitarian like a TV to a chair, um, again, to something ornate. Um, design has had a play in it. Now, some of it is more um, graphical design, meaning it's kind of like type and fonts and imagery and those kind of things put together. Some of it might be um, industrial design where it's like designing uh, products, furniture, um, some of it's engineering design, architectural design, all those kind of things, but it's all design. It's all the same ideas and principles. So we're gonna go through some ideas of design principles and, and, and um, elements and they translate to all these other kind of expertises. Um, each one has a little bit different, but they all have the same basic uh, elements. Um, so let's kind of go through some of those. So um, design basically a deliberate act with a, with a set intention. Um, the, to me, design is, is to make the world a better place. Um, Things are better today than they were five years ago, 10 years ago, or 100 years ago um, because of design. Now, some of it is technological design. We've got these incredible things called phones, right, that you can like use and take pictures and do all kinds of stuff on. Um, that wasn't like that 100 years ago when they had a phone. Um, but we also have things that, that are um, designed aesthetically, which are better now, right? I mean, you have things that are just prettier. And there's nothing wrong with things just being, I think, nicer. Um, thank God for having pretty things in the world. So all those things are kind of parts of design, which are um, an important part, I think, of, of history and culture and civilization. Um, so these ideas here, these basic elements um, that we're gonna, I'm gonna chat about real quick, We'll be talking about these throughout the semester um, and these will become kind of our language that we talk about. So when we're talking about um, a project or a work or a, a, a thing that we're looking at, we're gonna be looking for these kind of ideas and kind of starting to use this language to communicate. Um, like any industry, there is a language. Um, so we'll be using the language of design throughout the semester. Um, so line basically is nothing more than literally a line. Um, color, um, really, really powerful. Can, can totally change the idea and mood of a project or an, an object. Um, 
you know, something gray or black might kind of bring us down where something bright, chipper, yellow, orange might cheer us up. So um, color has a huge play um, in life. Um, shape, okay, square boxes, rectangles, space is um, how things are around each other. Um, if there's 2D, there's three-dimensional, uh, positive, negative, um, they're all kind of things in how we relate things to each other. Um, texture, okay, how does something feel? Um, oftentimes we don't think of how things feel when we're looking at things on a computer um, because they're two-dimensional, but it, it makes a big difference. Um, especially those that are gonna be getting into the animation world where there's a lot of heavy 3D. Um, you know, I mean, you can make that, that tree feel a certain way or that stone feel a certain way just by how it's drawn or how it's illustrated. Um, that can play a huge part of how people feel and think about this stuff. Um, form is kind of the, 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 the height width, the, the cube, it's a sphere, those kind of ideas. And then value is like light to dark, how things are from a light to dark reference point. So we're gonna be dealing with these things as we go um, throughout the semester. Um, so those were the elements here. Now these are principles and principles are made up of elements. So they're kind of bringing things together. So an example of a, of a, a principle is balance. It's, so we think of balance as two things, right? Is it this way or this way? Is it feel tight? Is it too heavy on one side or too light on the other? Okay, if I one hand out, on one hand, there's a difference in the balance there. But you can also do balance not only with objects and shapes, um, but you can also do balance with color, right? So how the one color deal with another color. So um, the idea of balance and emphasis and rhythm um, and we're, I'm going to show you some examples of these repetition, proportion, contrast, and unity. Again, these are how we bring these elements together to do this. Um, and then as graphic designers in particular, we add in a, an additional thing, which is typography. And we'll go through the elements of typography um, also. So, um, Hierarchy, which is how things are read. Hierarchy lets the reader know where to look first. Okay, so this is an example of hierarchy here. You saw the word hierarchy first because it's biggest. Okay, it's larger, um, it's thick, it's black. Now we could also add some color in there which make it even more, make it stand out even more potentially. And then let the readers know and where to look first. You didn't look down here first because it was smallest, you saw that last because of its size and its position. Okay, so that's the idea of hierarchy of kind of knowing where things are and how they relate to each other. So um, we can kind of direct our eye, just like you would in a, in a film um, or a painting. Um, our jobs as, as designers is to kind of direct people to see what we want them to see and in really the order we want them to see, okay? So that's always gonna be important. That's the hierarchy of things. Um, consistent type, we're gonna go, I'm, I'm, I'm skipping through quick because we're gonna go back through these ideas. Um, serif and sans serif. So you may have heard those terms before. Um, a sans serif doesn't have the serif. The serifs are the little red parts down here. Okay, so that's a serif down here. Okay, so serif is, is French for the little doodly bob. And then this is sans meaning without, that's French for without the serif. Okay, so you learned French today. Um, so the sans serif is here. Examples of sans serif are something like Helvetica. Um, an example of a serif might be like Times New Roman type of thing. Um, and if you're like me, um, you probably have thousand typefaces on your computer or more, I hate to say. And why so many? Well, I think as, as you get into this, um, if you get into more kind of this idea of visual language, you're gonna start to see that certain typefaces say something in a certain way. Um, and then certain typefaces also are um, representational of certain objects or places or things. Um, so, you know, having the choices are gonna be important and crucial. Uh, letting, tracking, kerning. We'll talk more about these, but letting is the space between lines. And it's called that 
because type used to be made out of lead and they would have these lines that would go between the lines called lead and they would just increase it or, or decrease it. So leading is the space between lines. Tracking is the space overall of, of a sentence. And then kerning is the space between characters um, in, a le in, a, in a word. Okay, so here you see the K popping out here before the E, so that's kerning. Not good kerning, but it is kerning, okay? Um, and let me just go through some good bad designs as you can tell. So these are just some examples I grabbed offline of, excuse me, what I think are pretty pretty good design. These are logos and um, we'll, we'll be working with some logo designs um, later, especially Illustrator is a good program for this stuff. Um, and, and logos can say the world about a company. Um, they kind of become representational of a company. And these are just kind of logos that I've found that I think are pretty tight. They're pretty good, pretty, pretty well done. Um, and you can find hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of, of great logos, okay? Um, you're also gonna find bad logos, okay? Um, and I think a good logo kind of, um, it communicates the company, meaning it, it becomes a representation for company. Here's FedEx, for example. We've all seen this logo a thousand times, um, thousands, tens of thousands, okay? Um, and, and they have different versions for the Express and Ground and Freight and Office and this network stuff. Um, has anybody seen the arrow in there before? The what? The arrow, look at the arrow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> see, now you're never gonna ever be able to look at it and not see it. That was on purpose. <laughs> Right, that E and X come together, made an arrow, which FedEx, what is FedEx? I mean, they're shipping, right? They're movement, they're, they're doing that by this arrow, okay? Um, and it's a great logo because it, it, they've obviously been able to utilize it over different parts of their company, um, keeping the same idea going with that arrow. And again, this was not accident. This was a graphic designer who worked that in and they, and they kerned it so the letters are touching. That's not normal, okay? I mean, normally when you read a newspaper or you see something that's typed out, the letters don't touch, okay? Um, so in here, they're all touching and then this E and the X made an arrow. Again, it might be what we call a happy accident. I don't know if they planned it that way, but it came out that way. Um, and it came out that way, well done. And what's kind of cool is you, many people never saw it before. They never paid attention to it, but if you see it, then you get it that the designer was trying to do something. So sometimes there's, you know, more built into it. <clears throat> um, and don't think a logo has to um, represent everything about the company or really anything. I mean, look at something like Nike. It's a swoosh, right? It's the, the Nike swoosh. Um, it, it's it's envelope. It's symbolic of of the Nike, the god Nike, uh, the wings and so forth. But um, when you, if you look at that, it doesn't say tennis shoe or sporting good company at this point. Um, it's just, it, it has become symbolic of that. Okay. But had you looked at that, that same mark, well, if somebody had used that mark in, in 1960, it could be anything, right? Because Nike didn't exist. The shoe company didn't exist back then. So, um, marks, logos tend to become symbolic of a company. It doesn't mean it, it is symbolic of what the company stands for. Okay. Um, now here's something with the, the FedEx logo. Um, you want to see the company name, but you all, they also are showing direction with that arrow, uh, but they're not trying to say that, you know, they're overnight shipping. Okay. It's just, it's kind of there, but it's not there. Okay. So um, don't think that you're, when you start to look at logos or work on logos that the logo has to be everything. Um, this is a bad design. Eat our chicken and get gas. Okay, there's a gas station that's got chicken and they sell gas, okay? But there's something kind of negative about the idea that you're gonna get chicken and get gas, okay? It's yeah. not saying that chicken is good, is it? It's kind of saying it's bad, but they're not thinking that way. They're thinking, oh, buy our gas and get our chicken at the same time. 
Okay, so you know some things on on a surface don't seem that bad, but if you start to think about it, they can be bad or not be as good as they could be. Um, we're just Airbnb. There, I mean, these are low, these are things you can look at, them, right? This is Megaflix. Okay, see that there, Megaflix. We read it quickly. What's it say? It doesn't say Megaflix, right? Because the kerning is off between the L and the I there. You know, here's kids exchange. Yeah, now look at that. Kind of the, how the kerning is, how the letters go together. It says something else. Again, it, it, none of these things were done on purpose and these were real. Um, it's just, it was bad design. They weren't thought out. Um, I love this logo, but I also think it's bad. Um, it's Paraguay, it's like their travel tourism. I love the colors, I love the feel. The problem is it gets, it's, it vibrates, it's too much. It's too much going on there. Um, I think they could have been simplified down and made a little bit easier on the eye and would read a little bit better. Um, and that's Redbox. They're still out there, still a few left. They redid their logo um, not long ago, but they have this red box and then they have a, a purple circle period. Okay, well, why not do a little red box period? I, I don't know, just to me, it's a, it's a lost moment there um, where they, they should have put the red box right here to make that thing red instead, all right? Instead of a black, purple circle. Um, but who am I? I didn't get paid to do with their work. Um, ultimately, I don't want you guys doing this, okay? Um, so you're gonna learn to do better than web design is my passion. Even though putting a kitten in a picture always helps, okay? Always helps. Um, it's hard not to get an A if you put in a kitten in the picture. So, um, you know, kittens are cute. Everybody loves a kitten. I don't have a cat, but I like kittens, All right? Uh, and then in design, we trust. I mean, really design is kind of, I think it should lead us forward. We should be using design to um, take us to a new place to, um, if nothing else, make a little bit of the world better, even if it's only in our own life, okay? Um, so even if we're just kind of doing that little bit of work on, on a photo um, to make it better, that's what we need, okay? Um, even if it's just kind of helping us um, organize information so we can see it better, um, so it can be read easier. Um, so we, we make the right decision. You know, sometimes you, you, things happen. You're like, why did that happen? And a lot of times it's just because it was bad for design. Um, and and, and my, my goal and objective is to get you guys to start to be thinkers of, thinkers of design. And how can we make design and use design to make things a little bit better um, in everyday life, um, but also in the work and the projects that we create. Um, and, and design works, okay? And if you don't believe me, look at Target. Target is all about design. Um, everything they do is design centric um, from you know their, their logo itself to their color palettes, to their organization, um, to how they lay their stores out. Um, you know, they have like two or three basic layouts. And if you go to a different Target, it's gonna be one of those three. Um, I went to see, I the other two, two nights ago. I went to Target and Fullerton up by the Brea. I'm sorry, Target and Brea by the Fuller by the Brea Mall. Um, <clears throat> and it's the same as the one here in Anaheim Hills, which is actually the same as now the one in Fullerton. The Target and Fullerton is a flip flop, kind of reversed. Um, but they had the same kind of idea, the same kind of organization. And again, that organization is design. Um, they designed it in certain ways to make your experience better. Um, there's a reason the Starbucks is near the front of the store, not near the back of the store, okay? Because um, it's not like people are typically going to Target to get their Starbucks. It's just if they want a Starbucks that's there in the beginning, kind of welcomes you with a coffee. So you enjoy your shopping pleasure of uh, your shopping experience as you're going through uh, your Target. Okay, but Target itself is design. Okay, so from 
the buildings to the, the layouts to their signage to their, their color palette. Um, it's all about design. Okay. And they've become successful because they've utilized uh, design well. Um, and many companies emulate or trying to copy uh, Walmart for that matter, trying to do more quote, design stuff. And they're getting better. Walmart's getting a little bit better. Um, but they're not there yet. They will be maybe one day. Who knows? <laughs> um, I haven't been at Walmart in years, I think. Why? I can go to, go to Target and be design inspired. Okay. Um, yeah, and we'll, we'll talk about more of those kind of ideas later. And I will make sure, let me see if I don't think I put it up on the website yet. Mm, no, I'll add that to the website just so you guys have that little PowerPoint to go there. <laughs> All right. Um, questions so far? Anything? Not a, all right, give me just Not so far. All right, everybody, everybody okay? Doing okay? Catching it? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think so. Doing good. Good. All right. So I'm going to show you just kind of quickly those that don't know Photoshop. Oh, don't know Photoshop. Okay, so this is a picture of the sky. This was taken in Zion. Um, so I did this a couple of years ago in Zion, but I was, I was actually playing with it yesterday. Um, and I was just working some things that, uh, I've got tools that, you know, I got things that make my life easier, okay? And we'll, we'll talk about those things. But um, Again, it's not a bad photo, right? It, it works as it as it does already. There's nothing that's terribly bad about it, but it can be better. And I can punch things, and and we're going to get into how to punch it. And but I want to just kind of show you, you know, the idea of what you can start to do in Photoshop by kind of working things. And and, and things sometimes it's subtle. Like here, I popped the picture, right? It was here, and I kind of I, I sharpened it and gave us some color pop. And then in here, I'm actually lightening up over here because um, it was a little bit dark. So you could turn that off. You can see kind of here. Now, again, it might be, it's, it's, a lot of this has become the personal preference. Do I want it dark? Do I want it light? We go back and forth with that sometimes. Uh, and then here, I went to a little bit, I went to a more um, color saturation. Um, because in reality, this is really what it was more like. I mean, the, the, the photograph itself didn't capture the light as strong as it was. And it, it really turned out to be this kind of, of, of yellow orange as the, 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 the time progressed there. It wasn't that long. Um, but you can kind of start to see that the light cast off of the rocks here. Um, and this is called the Watchman is the formation here in Zion. Um, and the clouds were just amazing. It was just like one of those kind of times that you'd like to like, wow, that was pretty awesome. Um, just a, kind of an awesome experience. But you were able to capture it in photos. And again, you know, again, the photos don't necessarily always come out as strong as it really was, you know, so we can kind of make those adjustments. And again, we can also come in here and start to be artistic with our images um, because photographs to me are our art. And I'm not a, a documentarian with my photographs, um, meaning um, the LA Times is not paying me to take a picture of uh, and make it completely as accurate as it could be um, from a news standpoint. Okay, so I'm not taking this photograph to completely be accurate as to what it was that exact moment. Okay, I feel like I have the right and liberty to do a little bit of enhancement if I want to. Again, I'm not enhancing so far to make it look unrealistic, which you could, okay, from a, um, a an image standpoint, um, you know, I could take this thing and really push it up, you know, to a point where it's not realistic, okay. Um, 
and more quote artistic if that's what you want okay or artistically styled but i i'm i'm really into kind of you know giving a little bit of a pump a little bit of a, a kind of a, a artistic flair with it um because i can right that's that to me that's art and that's design and 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 we would all do that just like we would um you know correct the photo of a person and we're going to get into this next class but um let me get back to that web page hold on a sec I'm going to open that up real quick. That picture of the girl. Again, I'm in Photoshop here. I'm just kind of demoing just real quick. We're almost good for today. Uh, desktop. Number one and a half. Okay. When you will go to open that picture at some point, you're gonna get that same message. Ignore it, there's a problem down here with the picture of why it's black. It seems to be cropped. But <clears throat> if this was your, your picture um, and you had a pimple, right? Would you not want to kind of fix that? Okay. You had a little scar, you had a little makeup problem, right? And this is Photoshop and literally within seconds we're fixing things um in the picture so i don't think there's anything wrong with fixing a blemish on someone's skin any more than kind of working the clouds in a sunset um okay or, or fixing a blemish on a tooth okay that's what we are supposed to do i think as designers no, i'm not going to be able to get in there quickly on that Different tool. So we're going to go start to go through different tools and how they work in Photoshop to be able to correct things and fix things as we go and, and make things look right and blend things. Um, and we're going to go through all of these kinds of tools. So don't sweat that. Um, we'll get through most of them. Some of them are stuff you don't even need to do, uh, but we'll get through most of those. And we'll kind of kind of blur that out a little bit, smudge it, clean that up that way. Um, because ultimately we're trying to make things better, right? And we will get into kind of how, what I did and how I did that really quick uh, as we go. All right, so that's kind of our, our goal as designers to kind of make things a little bit better. You know, uh, don't say make things maybe a little bit prettier, okay? Um, and again, a lot of it is just kind of artistic choice as to what we want and how we want to present it. Um, and, and we're going to go through the different ways of doing that. Um, and again, this will be on uh, Wednesday. So, um, but I want you to kind of, if you have it already, open up a photo and just start playing. Honest to God. Just kind of go through and go, what does this do? Okay. You know, and if it, you don't get it, don't worry about it. We'll come back to it. And you're going to go, okay, what does this do, right? And you're going to go paint, and I'm going to paint. And Okay, I can see I can paint, right? And I can go with a brush. Oh, there's some brushes. And oh, let me do this. I can make my brushes bigger. And we'll, I'll show you the shortcuts of how to do it bigger. Um, you know, just play. You're not going to hurt anything. It's a picture. It's digital, okay? Um, there, there is no, no problems here. We're not. Just play. Does that make sense? I want you to get in there and play. Um, get used to where things are on here. I'm going to move this over so you can see it. Um, where did they go? There we go. All right. You can turn things on and off. <clears throat> Action. So kind of open up things, see where they are, look at where they are popping down from the, the screens. Um, we're going to go through all of this, but I want you to just kind of do it. Um, open up a picture. All right, just get file and open and, and find some photos that you have. Um, again, if you've downloaded them from your computer, that's fine. Um, let me just find something that's...
I went to, I went to Oahu over the summer. It was awesome. First time there. Went to, I've been to Maui before, but I hadn't been to Oahu. And it was mm -hmm. awesome. Good time. We find out I get sea turtles. Awesome. We never saw turtles before. <clears throat> Anybody go anywhere nice for vacation? Can I take a vacation? You ever heard of Cambria? No. What is it? Where? Uh, it's still within California. Um, it's by a place. It's like a little town by Hirsch Castle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've been up that way. Yeah, yeah. it's a nice little town. Did you go to uh, Hirsch Castle? Yeah. Me and my family try to go there uh, once in a while. It's always pretty fun. Yeah, that's pretty. I love going up that way. The castle's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Oahu, too. Wow. Oh, you're originally from Oahu, so you live there. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hard and, to live and, there. It's really and, expensive. And for it's, me pretty. it's pretty. It's gorgeous. Like I said, I've been to Maui twice. This is my first time to Oahu. Um, I like Hawaii. I love it when I'm there. But I don't know if I can live there. I feel like I, I, I you, you, you got to like make this big thing to get in the plane and go. We're here, like if I like, hey, tomorrow I want to go to Phoenix, I get in the car and drive. Do you get that feeling when you're on the island and living there? That yeah, you get a, trapped? you get like landlocked, you know? That's, yeah. <laughs> that's the whole thing. So do you get that? I mean, you, you got like two roads that go around the whole island. So yeah. if one of the roads are out, you got to go the other way around, right? <laughs> yeah. No, I just like, felt like, oh, I, I was like, God, if I think if I, if I live here, I'll feel trapped. That makes sense. Not that you are, but you kind of were like in California, like, hey, I'm gonna not that I'm going to San Francisco tomorrow, but hey, I could, right? You know, or I could make it drive to Washington, DC if I wanted to. Type of thing. Um yeah, so I was a kind of get that feeling. I love Hawaii, but I just feel like I would get get that feeling of trapped. So but um cool. So you can you can share Hawaii stories, that'd be nice. So this was cool. I went up to the North Shore. Um, did a little photo tour actually, and I had this the uh, green turtles there. Um, it was pretty awesome, and I really saw turtles in the wild like this. Uh, and I'm I'm just opening up. This was we call shooting raw, and we'll go through this later. But um, just open up the photo. You know, the idea that you can do this and then you can come back into Photoshop and, and brighten things up and you can select certain areas um, to do things. So I'm just going to select an area. I'm just, this is very crude, but I can take that area and then I could brighten it. I'm going to just exaggerate. So you can see how you can just take certain things and play with certain areas. <clears throat> this is totally off and totally raw and, and would not be done this way. But I, I'm using it as an example of how when you start to deal with photographs, um, you can make things better, right? I mean, you wouldn't do that because that makes things worse. But the whole point is to make areas better, make things better um, color-wise and adjust things because they're not always perfect. And, and our, our goal is to kind of make things a little bit better um, from a present, presentation, presentation standpoint. Um, and sometimes it's just even a matter of, of, of cropping, right? Where we just don't need all of it. We're trying to focus in on, you know, the turtle. So maybe I want to get rid of the green rocks back here because that's kind of distracting. Um, and bring this in here. And I'm just kind of showing the turtles and I'm cropping to that. And then I'm going to come back and I want to real quick, I'm going to just kind of go burn. <clears throat> I'm going to give me a big brush. And I'm just going to darken the outsides here. I want the, the turtles to really kind of stand out. And I'm going to make them stand out for, with dark on the outside called vignetting and light on the inside. Basically, it's hierarchy, right? We're creating visual hierarchy by making these areas on the outside darker. So our eye will go to the lighter. OK, so we're playing with color in order to enhance what we want people to see. So it's not gonna be like extremely obtuse. I'm going around and I'm playing a little bit here and I'm getting a little bit, I'm gonna exaggerate it a little bit just so you can see it more. Um, but the whole point is you can go through and with a couple minutes of work, 
get your eye and get the people's eyes to go to where you want it to be. It's a bit of extreme and I probably wouldn't do it this much, this harshly, but um, you can start to see what I did there. So here was basically the before and here's the after. Now, again, it's, it's a bit too much with the, what I did, um, but you can really see where you, now your eye is focused in on the turtles or here, they're kind of blending in a little bit to the water itself and, and the background, and the rocks and so forth. So again, we can use this idea of hierarchy in this case um, to focus in. And it's nothing more than when you put a frame around the picture, right? That frame helps you bring your eye into that photo or that painting, that illustration, okay? So all of these ideas and techniques that we're gonna start to use uh, will be incredible, incredibly helpful as you start to progress as a designer, illustrator, gamer, et cetera, all right? Um, so that's just kind of some quick Photoshop, but open a picture and play guys. And, and I don't, and I mean play, I mean like, and I go, okay, let's, let's play, ooh, shoe saturation, what happens there? All right, so what if I start to play with color, all right? I can like do kinds of, I can, oh, it's black and white now, I can put a little color, just, Play with it, goof off, and see what it does. Oh, colorize, what does that do? All right. I want you guys to kind of get used to navigating around and working with this stuff um, and seeing what it does. Um, and don't worry, it's it's not. It's we're going to go through it. You're not hurting anything. Okay. Um, and I'll show you one quick thing that makes it easier when you start to play is to make a copy of the layer. So I'm going to delete that. So this is when you open up Photoshop you'll see layers, and this is the original. If you just drag it down to the plus, it makes a copy. Drag it down again, it makes another copy, et cetera. So you can just click on whatever copy you want and work on it. So if I'm working on this one, it's here. If I wanna work on this one, I gotta turn the other one off so I can see it. So these are the eyes, the eyeball, so you can see it. So right now I can't see this layer. Right now it's blocking it. So I'm gonna exaggerate it here so you can see it. Um, So if I don't want that layer, turn it off and it goes back to this layer. Okay, so it's kind of like a on top of. Okay, so whatever's on top that if that has the visibility, the eye there, that will show. Okay. And there are ways to blend it out and go through and that's kind of opacity and we'll play with those kind of things. But sit there and play, guys. All right. Open up files, open up pictures, just kind of goof off with it. We're gonna go through it in a uh, methodical way starting on Wednesday. So you're, you're comfortable with it. Um, but I want you just right now to get it open, make sure it works. Um, make sure you got to download it. If you have problems, um, shoot me an email. Now, um, let me stop the share. What I do, I'm going to, I'll type this up and give it to you. I'm going to give it as an assignment. Um, but I want you to send, I need you to send me an email with your um, name, okay? Um, if you have any like nicknames you wanna go by, put that on there, um, your student ID number. Um, and um, whether you have the computer and the software at this point or you're still working on it, like I'm still downloading. I got the computer, I need to download or whatever, just so I know. Um, and that's going to be a quick assignment, but I have to do that for school purposes to make sure you really are who you are. I know you are, because I can see your name on the screen. So of course you're here. Um, but again, with the scanning stuff that's been going on. So um, bear with me, because there's even a couple people that did not show up um, with that. All right. Questions? <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Oh, remind me, we're using three different uh, Adobe programs. What does the third one do again? We're doing uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. Yeah. And we'll also be using um, Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat PDF throughout the semester. Um, that's real quick. It's not that difficult to do. But um, Photoshop and Illustrator are the big ones. And then the last, we'll say last month or so, um, we'll work on InDesign. 
and you'll be using photos and illustrations that you've done or will do in that project. Does that make sense? So that kind of project brings together images and text and words, puts them all together onto a page. So for the sign-in, is that what we put in for our subject for the email? Yes, um, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna make that up as an assignment now, as soon as I read Oh, here. okay. So you'll see that pop up just between now and Wednesday. Um, do that assignment, quote unquote, it's an assignment, it's easy. Three points, basically. Um, and, I, and I'll tell you how to put the subjects just so I can keep track of everybody. I'll, I'll write that up in a second here. All right, so that's coming, so no worries on that. Other questions, issues, comments, anything else before we call it a class? So um, homework is get your computer up and get your software up. That's it. All right. All right. All right. Anybody else have any questions or anything? Um, if we're having troubles downloading the program, do you want me to just email you the issue? Yeah, send it to me as an email. And I'll, I'll see, or you can tell me now. I'm going to stop the record and you can, you can stay on the chat if you want.